it's Anna. Bienvenido otra vez a mi canal. If you are new though, welcome. I hope if you haven't yet, you hit the little subscribe button. And also don't forget to hit the bell notification button so that you don't miss out when I post new videos and so that you can be alerted if I mention a giveaway in the video. We're going to be talking about TJ Maxx and Marshall's fines because... What's new for my channel? I'm clearly repping so hard right now, Alaska, because I just want Alaska weather for Christmas, please. Fingers crossed. Probably won't get it, but fingers crossed. I've got like a good mixture of things here. I'm gonna start with like home decor clothing, and then we'll get into makeup and skincare because I feel like that's all of our favorite parts, kind of. Wait, I don't have this, I don't have it organized. I thought I did. First thing I got is this beautiful big chunk of quartz. So this is just like a desk little piece. It's got like a stand. I got this actually marked down. Looks like they had marked it down a few times. This for six dollars. I'm not sure what the original price was. I can't get it off. I don't know what the original price was, but I paid six dollars for this. I want to find one of the amethyst ones also marked down. I still don't understand the fascination with all of the Ray Dunn stuff. Like the uh, dishware that has like the writing on it, but I've been seeing it so 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 much like all over my Instagram People love to find it and I don't understand why but I caved and I bought something only Because of Mally needed a new water bowl. So I got her this one that just says gulp Yeah, it's just one of the big bowls on there. This one I got for $5.99 from Marshall's It does say compare at $10. I do want to get her the one also that I think it says drink or drink up or something um i just want to get her the water bowls you know that's all she needs and that's all that i need to be buying from this that's all i need for some like kitchen stuff um i found this is the brand that i freaking love for olive oil like i buy it whenever i see it because it is literally the best olive oil i use it for cooking or i use it just as like my dressing on my salad because it's perfect cooked or uncooked it is just the selection familiar pons but this is actually the, is it balsamic vinegar? Balsamic vinegar. vinegar. Aceito balsamico di Modena. Italian. When I saw this vinegar, it's vinegar, right? I had to get it because it's by the brand that I love. And it was only $3.99. It says compare at $6. I actually made my mom pick this up too because she was like, we'll both try it. And I was like, yes, yes, we will. We will. If you guys didn't know, now you are aware that I am obsessed with tea. I've always been a tea person over a coffee person. I just love tea so much. The holiday gift sets for teas are like amazing. I think I'm gonna have to pick up so, so, so many for myself. I got this one. I think I'm gonna give it away as a gift though and I'm really sad so I need to find another one for myself because I want it so badly. This is just by the brand The Happy Elephant. It's the specialty tea selection. How much should I pay for this? Oh, I already took the price off. Oh, man. I already took the price off because I'm giving it away as a gift. And I thought I was going to do it sooner than today. But here, you just have like a mixture of a ton of different teas. I think this was maybe only like $4. Crazy deal. I don't know exactly. But you have like peppermint green tea, jasmine green tea, regular green tea, honey lemon ginger tea. I need this for myself also. I need to pick up a ton of their tea sets for like the gift stuff because they're such a good price and you get so much tea in them. There's eight tea bags of each flavor and there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six times eight is 48. I know math sometimes. That's a lot of tea. I picked up a few clothing items only because they were on clearance. Got these really nice like leggings. Actually, they're, I think they're like jeggings, black leggings. They have like faux pockets all over them. They're by the brand Sanctuary. And I like the back though. I just really like the back. I don't know why it's got fuzz all over the butt. Plain leggings are a little bit wider, I feel like, around the ankle. They're not like super, super tight whatevs crazy i didn't even notice this was on here the original sanctuary clothing tag on here says 89 dollars. they were only 16 dollars. they were trying to get them from 24.99 and they say compare at 36 but i paid 16 for them and the actual brand tag says 89 so that's a deal i'm sorry i'm not going to try anything on I have been wanting leggings like this for so long that have like a little wrap around that goes around your calf. I don't know why. I just think they're super cute. And I finally found some. These are actually by free people, right? Am I lying? Nope, they're free people. <laughs> Another 80 something dollar price. So suggested retail from free people. It says $88 for these leggings. And I got them for only $14. TJ Maxx was trying to get them for $30, but they say compare it $45. Plain 
black leggings but then they have the little like string that you actually wrap around your calf and then you make like a little bow i just think it's so cute i picked up this dress i don't know why i just thought it was like super cute it's like a shirt dress gray i love the like fringy parts around it i don't know it just looks super comfy i feel like i can get away with wearing this to work be comfortable and still look cute and like professional enough for work plain on the back too short sleeved it is by the brand Z Supply. It's got a really sturdy tag. TJ Maxx is trying to sell it for $14.99. It does say compare at $19, but I paid only $8. Then the best clothing find from that day, besides the leggings, because I've been wanting those. Faux leather jacket that I found. <gasps> Just like this. I love it. I don't have a faux jacket this color, like, or a leather jacket this color at all. This, like, nice maroon color. It's so pretty. And I actually really love the, like, what is this? It's not fur. I don't know what this material is. It's like got all these like really nice button details. It does have pockets on there. I'm just obsessed with this jacket. It's a by the brand Jolt. Faux fur, faux leather. Cool. I got this for $18. They were trying to sell it for $34.99. And it says compare at 45, so I'm obsessed. That day also though, I did find like a jacket. I cannot remember the brand. I'm pretty sure I have a picture of it on my phone. If I can remember, I'll post it on my Instagram at some point. But my mom kept it because she bought it for me. It's gonna be a Christmas gift. But we went to the Burlington Coat Factory and I swear, like the one in Dover, Delaware, I don't know what it is. It's so good. I found a jacket, I cannot remember the brand, but I remember it was like a $500 jacket. No lie, like a $500 jacket. And my mom bought it for me for $80. $80 for a $500 jacket. So that's a Christmas gift <laughs> that I've already seen and picked out myself and tried on. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys like when I include like some of the extra stuff that I find at the store but I don't buy. I did find a ton of like Laura Geller sets and I don't know, I'm just not really interested in anything Laura Geller unless it's like their actual swirly highlighters you know what I mean like I don't know just none of it was really that interesting to me I might end up picking some of them up but I just have so many other things on my wish list from TJ Maxx and Marshalls right now so I'm skipping over a lot of stuff but I also what did I find a ton of Stila stuff the reviews that I had read on the Stila stuff were so up and down and it was more down <laughs> So I didn't pick any of those, like, those things up, usually the like cream contour stuff and their foundation to stay all day. Well, let's stop with a chit chat because I got my popcorn box full of makeup. First thing that I got is this chorus. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. This chorus set of products. The eyeliner looks like is in the color brown. The eyeshadow is in in gold and bronze, and then you get the lipstick in Innocence. But this, though, was only $4.99. It says compare at $8. I'm pretty sure when I Googled it, searched this, Google searched it, it was maybe like $18. I could be lying. You get three products in here, though, for the price of only, for only $5. You get three different products. And Chorus, I thought was a pretty good brand. You know what I mean? I found this little Buxom set. set. Like, that was so random. They're like lips plumper type things aren't really my favorite but I thought this was a really good value you're getting three different products $7.99 $8 for three different they're travel size products but I love travel size I think it's so cute it says compared $11 plump and contour lip trio so you get a mini plump line lip liner it's a mini crayon in the color hush hush the mini big and sexy bowl gel lipstick it's in the color naturally daring and then you get the mini full-on lip cream in the color hot toddy these are perfect for keeping in your purse too especially if you carry around a smaller purse and you guys know how i feel about lips glosses but let's see if this is like clean yeah clean wand looks like it's never been opened before always love that oh my gosh i really am unorganized i have stuff sitting in bags over here i only found one steal item that i actually wanted to purchase it is this one this is my first time finding it so i was like i gotta get it it is the Stila stay all day bronzer for face and body this one i got for 7.99 it says compare at 14. this one is in the color dark which i thought would be the best for me this is Stila on there super pretty huge mirror inside and then you have the huge product that just says Stila like etched in there it's a powder i was like this one i can jive with because it's a powder not so much a cream that i heard were really oily I did pick up one NARS item. I was there a different day when I picked up some of this other stuff that's in here. So I couldn't justify buying, I don't know what it was now. I think it was just a highlighter. I don't know, a blush. I regret not buying it. I should have bought it and I didn't. 
But so I got this one when I saw it. It is the NARS Contour Blush Blush Sculptant. A duo of contour and blush, apparently. I haven't looked at this in a while. It's been, I got it like a week ago? About a week ago. I got this for $14.99. It does take a pair at $25. And it comes like in this little extra little box on the inside. It still has like the little plastic, little NARS guy. You get a really nice, good mirror in here too. And then this is supposed to be blush. This looks like two different contour shades. Color is a Gina. They spell Gina really weird. G-I-E-N-A-H. Contouring blush shades. A deeper shade enhances definition while lighter shade illuminates the high points of the face. This is just contour. I think I'd find anything by Benefit, and I feel like this was a really good find from them. It is the Hide and Sheen kind of like little duo. It's really small. It's like the size of my hand. I already have tried one of the products that's in here. I got this for $9.99. It says compare it $13. It didn't really seem like too much of a good value, but I don't think that's the original price. In here, you get the Boeing concealer, and then you also get the What's Up highlighter which is the one that I've tried before and I actually really, really like. So you take it out of the box, if I can get it out. And then it's got a little baby mirror in there, how cute. And then you have both your products, it's just like a split product with the concealer and the highlighter, which I actually do really, really like. At two different times, two different trips, two different stores, I found lip liner sets. And the crazy thing about these is, these are $19.99 a piece. They say compare at $39.50. But I do know that for a single MAC lip liner, it's $20. So in here you're getting three colors, you're getting three for the price of one. I don't know, I think there's one more set that I haven't found yet, but I could be wrong. I got the more pinky one. Oh, maybe there's two other ones, because it says, Longwear Lip Pencil Kit number four. I wish I'd been paying attention to that because I saw so many the other day. And I was just going off the colors. And they all look the same to me. That's annoying. So this is the Pencil Kit 4. They come just in a box. And then inside though, they come wrapped up in like this black tissue paper. They're just literally all wrapped. And then you get your three full size lip liners. This pink color is in shock value. Uh, more of like a mauve color is in Posy Perfect. And then this like, a, it looks orangey. It's in the color Voltage. I also got the pencil kit number two, so I guess I'm missing one and three. And if I didn't say it, these are the Pro Longwear Lip Pencils. So again, these are like the more neutral, but actually it has like a darker color in there. Again, with the black tissue paper, you get your three full-size lip liners. So you get this more nude color in Etc. And then you get this really nice vampy dark color. It is in be spoken for and then you also get another nudish color and this one is in cultured i got a bite beauty lip gloss i know what i said about lip gloss but this one i had to get i think i saw makeup by Peta find it and when she found it i was like oh i need that gloss i hate buying gloss from tj maxx and marshall's i'm like really iffy about it you know this is the cream lip gloss it's in the color opal and this box was like it looked totally untouched and then when i pulled it up out i pulled the product out it had like a totally clean wand so I felt comfortable. I got for $6.99, it says compare at $10. So this is just the color in Opal. I love the packaging, it does say bite on there. It kind of looks like the new lip glosses from KKW Beauty that came out that also looks like the Stila eyeshadows. I mentioned it in a different video before that I was really upset and disappointed in myself and my TJ Maxx and Marshall shopping skills that I didn't pick up the Marc Jacobs eyeliners when I found them before and I was like, I'm never gonna find them again. I hear nothing but good things about these eyeliners. So when I found these, I snatched them up. My other video that I just did before this one too, I found the other set, but I finally found this one. I think my mom got this set before, but I didn't. It's the High Life Coveted Colors Gel Eyeliners. This I got for $12.99 from Marshall. Here it has, it has, it has the color Jazz Berry, Navy Noir, and Introvert. Like I say all the time, I've given up the search. <laughs> given up the search for these freaking eyeshadow palettes. I found more of the um, Style Icon number seven. Again, these are $19.99. They say compare at $30. I think these are actually like $50 palettes. This one, again, they come like in the little pouch. Beautiful, long packaging. And then I always love how it has the actual colors on the back. This one is in the Dreamer. So this was one that I didn't have yet. Mirror in there and this little cover that says Marc Jacobs. We'll move that guy. This palette though I really like because it has a mix of mixture of shimmers and mattes. So I like this one a little bit better than the other one that I found the other day. Oh, 
I just like dropped it. I'm too scared to look at it. I think it's okay. It did also find another one. Again, $19, compare it 30. This one is in the Night Owl. This one though, it didn't come in the pouch. Like someone had already taken the pouch out or something. So I was like, okay, there is no way that this is either not swatched or it's probably shambled, crumbled, shattered. And it literally, I don't think anyone even touched it. Oh, it looks like, or was that me? They might've touched just that one, but like, I could have cried right there in the middle of the store. I want to take this time now though to announce there's going to be a giveaway in this video. Duh. This is like some random stuff. I had bought a ton of stuff before the holidays. Like I had been stocking up for the giveaway stuff because I knew for the holidays I wanted to be doing a ton of giveaways. So this is stuff that I didn't actually get from TJ Maxx. It's like a ton of mixture of like drugstore stuff. I'll show you some of the things. The rest of this stuff, it'll be a picture on my Instagram so that you can see. But it does have in here these prismatic brushes. Um, by Moda. The Wet n Wild Kabuki brush is in here. I have the Wet n Wild Gold Highlighter Bar. Wet n Wild, this isn't sponsored at all. Um, I bought all this stuff a while ago. Few more goodies. I even included in here my favorite makeup wipes. You guys know, or if you don't, I'm telling you now, I'm really picky about my makeup wipes. These are the best. The rules for the giveaway will be down in the description box as well though, so make sure you check that out so that you're not missing anything because if you win but you haven't done everything that's included in the rules, I'll have to pick a different winner. You gotta make sure that you are subscribed to this channel, my vlog channel, and also follow me on Instagram. Um, I'm gonna post the rest of the giveaway stuff on my Instagram picture. You'll also have to comment under this video and leave your Instagram name, that's super important, and then say enter me number one. And then on my vlog channel, just go to the most recent video on there. You can just go to videos. It'll be the first one that pops up. Put your Instagram name and then write enter me number two. And then on the picture of the items on my Instagram, just put enter me number three. You have to do all those things if you're interested in that stuff. Kind of a random find, but I know my mom really likes this brand. It's the Tokyo Milk, right? Tokyo Milk brand. And this is actually their perfume. I've never seen their perfume at TJ Maxx and Marshalls before. I got this for $9.99. It says compare at $20. I don't even know what to look at so I tell you guys about it. The paper was coming off. It was like the paper had ripped. I don't know, it was weird. The perfume's fine. I don't know if the scent is bulletproof or like dark. I don't know what to look at. 45? There's just so much happening on this box. My mom really likes this, so I got it for her. Black bottle. It's like really nice. Ooh. Mmm, that smells good. And I found a Kevin Aquan contour palette. Okay, I didn't know this was even out there to find. So this is the 4-in-1 Face Essential Sculpt Highlight Bronze Blush. This was a little pricey. I was really iffy about it, but then I was like, I know I will regret it if I don't buy it. This was $19.99. It says compare at $34. I'm pretty sure this was probably a $50 or $60 palette at one point because Kevin Aquan is pricey. The cool thing about this, though, is you open it up one way like this. And it has like little like instructions for how to contour your face and actually use the palette. But then it's like you lift it up a second time right here. And then you actually get to your palette and you have a mirror in there. And it does come with the little plastic cover, which I guess we can remove. This looks a little light for me, but oh, it looks lighter <laughs> in the camera. This looks like it's really orange. Not gonna lie, it looks super orange, but I like this color. It looks really nice and grayish. A nice contour color. You can even use them as eyeshadows. I think it's just nice to have like some of these like brands and not spend that crazy amount for them. I can't get it back in this little sleeve. I found a few more Kat Von D things, but it's like things that you guys literally <sighs> manifestation is real, man. I was mainly looking for some of these things and I ended up finding them like so randomly so random and like I wasn't gonna go those days so I found another one of the Kat Von D shade and light eye palettes this one is in my favorite the plum but it's for a giveaway I'm not gonna tell you where the giveaway is because I want it to be for someone who like is actually like following me uh, but I did get this one for a giveaway and the giveaway is already going it might have already stopped at this point again these are only $9.99 they say compare at $15 last time I checked these were on sale at the Sephora website though for $12 so you're still saving a little a little bit of money I've already shown it in a different haul like did the swatches and everything and that's for a giveaway the part of the giveaway I found another one of the Lolita lipsticks I kind of want to back up for myself too because these are only $6.99 they say compare at $10 I'm pretty sure these are also on sale at Sephora, but they're still $12, I think, because I think these are actually originally 20 something. So these two items were actually included in a giveaway for myself, and if you're following me on Instagram, you probably already saw these. Some more lipsticks in colors that I didn't know were even out there. Like I said, it's probably gonna be the Marc Jacobs 
nail polish situation where there's just new colors constantly. I think I either got this for a giveaway or a gift. Um, but this is the Kat Von D lipstick, studded kiss lipstick is what these are. Um, this again, $6.99, says compare at $10. I'm not going to open this though because I think I got this for a gift. I think I have this one already. I did find four other colors that I'm really excited for. So first I found Gothica. Again, I love the packaging on here, how they're like studded like that. They do say KVD on the lid. I already swatched some of these. So, but this one's like a really glittery kind of like orange color in Gothica. And then I got this one in the color Mercy. It's just a really pretty deep, ooh, color. It looks like shimmery. And then the two I was really happy to find, I found Vampira, Vampira. Really pretty deep, ooh. It's almost like a brownish red berry color. So pretty. The last one that I found is super excited for is the color Slayer. And it's just a black. This one was a little bit, like it got messed up from the tube. It looks like it was actually put into the tube wrong, but it's just a black in Slayer. These were really the things I was really on the hunt for because I didn't think I was going to find them ever. I found the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca lipstick set. So this is the full size limited edition one. It's in the white packaging. And then you have seven mini lipsticks. This was $19.99. It says compare at $32. And I almost didn't see this. So. Another tip for you guys in this video is make sure you're looking through everything at TJ Maxx and Marshalls because I hate to say it because like I don't want to give anyone's hiding spots up but people hide stuff at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and I've, I'm guilty of it sometimes too. Not gonna lie. We all do it. I'm sure we've all done it. It's also just the way that people put stuff away. It might not be someone trying to hide it. It's just they're like stuffing a ton of stuff. They get a ton of products. They're just trying to make things fit fit in there so it might be sitting weird it might be sitting in different spots in the stores like behind things small things behind larger items you have to make sure to really look through everything and I say that because I almost didn't see this I was like walking away from the section and then I don't know how this caught my eye and I picked it up so this is what they all look like once you pull them out of the box you have this big one this is your full size one and it's the limited edition white packaging and how pretty is this it's like a really pretty coral is it shimmery like shimmery and then you get the little like baby size ones but so there's the lilac color that's in the color coven and then you get the black eye eyeshadow you get the black color that is in new neon neon what what is this color it has a, an asterisk by it on the box that says new so i guess that's a new color neon Neyun, I have no idea. This like orangey looking color in Halo that also has a star by it that says new for some reason. Okay. Oh, the white in the limited edition is in the color gold blooded. Ooh, gold blooded because it's got that shimmer in there. And then you get this pinky color in the color noble. Oh yeah. So these are like mini sizes also of the ones that I've already found at TJ Maxx and Marshall. So there's noble. You get, which one is this? This is in Sexer. I haven't found that one. This one is in the color wolf's mouth, which I just found the other day and then this one is in bachelorette which i found a while ago also so this palette is awesome did i call it a palette did i just say palette this set is awesome did i say palette the last thing it is the cap on d saint perfume i really did not think i was gonna find this i would always i just always got so sad when i walked out of a store and didn't find it but i was so excited i already opened it so the price tag is on the paper this was $19.99 it says compare at $32 this one she had repackaged and brought back this is like one of her like best selling like fragrances so that's why she brought it back and like redid the packaging so i'm i have read it smells so good i hope that I can find the center one at the store too. But I love this packaging. I can't believe she changed the packaging. The new one's pretty too, but this one I love because it's so different. The box is just super nice. It says there are two sides in all of us. And then it has her little Kat Von D like seal at the top. And then it's like got all the decoration down the side. It looks like a lighter and it's got like skulls on it. This is so pretty. It's got her little Kat Von D thing on the top. And then you just kind of tilt back the packaging so that you spray it. How freaking cool is this? If you find it, definitely suggest picking this up. And it smells really good, but I don't remember what it smells like now. I like a really strong spray. Like, it's like... So that is everything from this haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys saw something in this video that maybe you didn't know was out there to find. That's why I love doing these videos for you guys to show you what to be on the lookout for because I'm constantly on the hunt for more things. Don't forget in your comment if you're interested in the giveaway to put in enter me number one, I think it was. Thank you so much for watching you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.